The doctor is looking at the pulse of the patient who has collapsed uh, and somebody is diagnosing first of all panic attack. This scene is very well constructed even medically I have to applaud that how amazingly they have created this scene and here is the biggest blunder of the movie which is coming up. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Anish Pashel, an MBBS intern at GMC Nagpur and in this video I'll be reacting to the medical scenes of this amazing movie called as Jawan. So it recently came out on Netflix, I watched it and felt like there were so many different things which I could discuss with you guys and make my audience more pluripotent, more educated and more able to diagnose and more able to treat particular diseases. Major major spoilers in this particular video so make sure that you've watched the movie before you come back to watch this video. The first scene we're going to be talking about involves encephalitis outbreak in a particular community and let's first watch the scene. This was one of the most emotional scenes that I've seen in a movie for since a long time and the reason is because I could see the desperation in the doctor's eyes to save the lives of so many children and the ending we see that uh, a lot of the children in this uh, particular ward don't survive because of the lack of oxygen and actually first time when I watched this I literally cried because I could feel the doctor and I could feel the empathy that she had in her and most importantly she was falsely accused later on. Anyways that's the story but uh, let's talk about the medical aspect of this. So let's first talk about the outbreak of encephalitis which is happening. So what exactly is encephalitis? Encephalitis means the infection or the inflammation of your brain parenchyma. You might have heard about the term meningitis. Meningitis is the inflammation of the leptomeninges, the layers which are present on your brain. So the pyre matter, the arachnoid matter, if they are inflamed, it's called as the meningitis. Sometimes meningitis does complicate and infect the tissue layer of brain present below it, but it's quite rare. Since it's an outbreak, I have to assume that the transmission of one infection to the other person is very, very fast. And usually if you see the fast transmission, viruses are are one of the top most uh, candidates for fast fast transmission as we saw in covid right one person was infected the other person got the other person got same thing so here i'm assuming that it has to be a viral causes there uh, there are so many viral causes for encephalitis uh, i cannot pinpoint exactly which one but here it is a viral encephalitis which is the picture which is happening to so many children over there recently in 2019 we saw a case in I think Bihar and Jharkhand where around 100 plus cases of encephalitis occurred in an area very very frequently and we did not really pinpoint as to what was the cause and a lot of different children died because of the same thing. Now what you're seeing over here is that there are children who are having respiratory difficulty. You can see the frothing which is coming out of their mouth. So let's first talk about the respiratory difficulty which they are having. What happens is that sometimes certain areas of the brain which actually control your respiration can get damaged and that may lead to respiratory difficulty or as a complication of the encephalitis itself if the virus disseminates to different parts of the body it can lead to something called as ARDS which is respiratory distress syndrome and in that respiratory distress syndrome your lungs are basically filled with water so the treatment of choice for respiratory distress is we definitely have to give oxygen and we have to correct the cause so there are so many causes of respiratory distress we have to correct the cause and sometimes uh, there is an unknown etiology so we just have to give supportive measures so that the patient recovers by their own now let's talk about the froth which was you can see in the mouth and I have I'm pretty sure that whenever you see a movie and if there is some sort of disease involved they will definitely give the the froth to the actor and now let me explain to you what exactly is this frothing you have saliva in your mouth and you have air in your lungs when you try to ventilate a lot without actually having the saliva going going down into your stomach the air will try and rush into the saliva and that will create a foam exactly the same thing which happens when you're washing clothes hawa hoti hai, wo tumhare soap bubbles ke saath ho jati, usse foam ban jata hai. so when your muscles of the deglutition are paralyzed when you cannot really swallow your own saliva back and you're trying to breathe really really fast for example if it happens in epilepsy or in seizures what will happen is that patient ko seizures are uh, he is not able to dilute the saliva air will come and mix and it will cause the foam which will then later uh, spill out of the mouth next you see that the doctor which is present over there she is trying to explain how the ambu bag works so ambu bag is a life-saving device every medical student every doctor in fact every normal person should also know how to use an ambu bag it's got a mask which you have to fit on the patient's nose and mouth properly securing it uh, very nicely so that um, zyada air jo hai wo leak na ho. and we use it when the patient is not able to breathe manually on their own and also when oxygen is not available like she said so you have to push the ambu bag like this and it ensures that a particular amount of air is always going inside the person's lungs so that oxygenation takes place the ambu bag will only help you for a short while till the oxygen saturation is your lungs are able to maintain and after once if the lungs are completely filled even if you give the ambu bag respiration will not occur and the reason is because the lungs are not able to oxygenate the blood and that is exactly why she is in a rush for getting the medical oxygen cylinders which are present this scene is very well constructed even medically i have to applaud 
that how amazingly they have created the scene because it really shows you the urgency the desperacy of the doctor as well as the lack of availability and resources and how certain lives which can you know easily be prevented are lost so hats off to the team who made this keep it up very nicely one thing which i missed as you can see the mouth of that uh, child has got a blackish discoloration that indicates cyanosis which definitely means the lung pathology is involved where oxygenation of the blood was not happening properly so that leads to bluish discoloration of the mucosa including the mouth as well as the earlobes the tongue and the rectal and the vaginal mucosa of course the next scene involves dipika padukone and we're going to be reacting to her but before i do that if you're somebody who's preparing for neat you know that according to the latest nmc guidelines some topics have been removed and some topics have been added kuch cheez the modify hui exam mein and you have probably bought the books already from which you're going to study for the exam so how do you cover those additional topics which were just added well let me introduce you to oswal books neat ug plus supplement this book contains only the additional topics from the three subjects and you can use this to supplement your preparation and add a complete fullness to it they have provided an excellent list of all the topics which were added all the topics which were removed so you can align your preparation accordingly and around 150 new questions have been added from the new topics of course the answers are also provided for example in morphology of flowering plants as you can see a new family has been added plus the questions from it are given in this book no other book in the market is currently available that helps you in the way that this one does i think that this book will genuinely help you out because it contains only the additional topics and is also priced at just rupees 149 so you won't have to buy another 600 700 rupees book just for these small topics so i think every need aspirant who is watching this video who wants to perfect the additional topics must buy this book and supplement it with their own existing resource i've added the links in the description kindly go check it out thanks so well books for again supporting the channel it really means a lot and now back to the dipika padukone scene doctor sir panic attack hua hoga ये डॉक्टर इज लुकिंग एट द पल्स ऑफ द पेशेंट हु हैज कोलैप्स्ड एंड समबडी इज डायग्नोसिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पैनिक अटैक सेकंड ऑफ ऑल दे आर डायग्नोसिंग अ प्रेगनेंसी बेस्ड ऑन द पल्स दिस इज पीक बॉलीवुड ओवर हियर सो ऑफ कोर्स प्रेगनेंसी तुम पल्स के ऊपर से बिल्कुल नहीं बता सकते हो इट इज नॉट इवन लाइक वन ऑफ द साइंस ऑफ प्रोबेबल प्रेगनेंसी शी आई डोंट नो व्हाट शी इज फीलिंग Uh, from the pulse at all you cannot really say the probable sign is that if the upt of the person is uh, positive then definitely she is undergoing some sort of pregnancy and of course the confirmatory sign is if you do the sonography of the patient she, you will find the fetus inside in fact this is one of the minor mistakes in kgf literally i watched that movie and there was the scene uh, so the person was having some sort of medical intervention done and usme intracath ulta laga tha when we put the intracath we put it like this taki flow idhar rahe sala ka the person had a reverse intracath <laughs> the next scene is when a lady gets shot in the abdomen uh or maybe she has some sort of injury she has sustained and they immediately take her to the ot and this is the scene which which really made me to make this video in the first place so the first part of the scene she is gotten shot she is rushed first of all uh, if somebody shot uh, you actually should first look at if they have other injuries such as the neck injury the spine injury because if you are going to transport them directly like that you might worsen the condition so i hope that she does not have all of that but there is a bullet stuck inside her and uh, all they are doing is they are transporting her like that the immediate management of any sort of penetrating abdominal injury is first of all tamponade tamponade matlab ki use daba ke rakho taki wahan ka jo local blood supply hai wo band rahe taki wahan pe bleeding na ho so what we can see is that she is just Gently holding that place, which जहाँ पे उसको bullet लगी है. What you should ideally do, take three or four, five, six pads, just put over there, apply some pressure. That pressure will help to compress the artery, the vessel, the capillary which are breathing, so that you won't have further hematoma formation inside. This is penetrative injury of the woman. The of course first thing is that you put in the IV fluids so that the patient who is bleeding out may not die of shock. When she is brought to the OT table, you can see the BP monitor over here. So it reads like 89 over 40. That is significant shock. I think that's the systolic and diastolic BP, which is it is. 
showing and i have props to the team to actually go get a good bp reading over here that it is uh, quite low and that indicates that there is some sort of blood which is leaking out continuously in the abdomen due to the bullet injury which is making her lose all the blood so blood near the blood pressure kaisa rahega that is what we call as shock and this particular shock is called as hypovolemic shock when the person is losing the volume of the blood and that basically decreases the perfusion the amount of blood reaching various vital organs such as your brain your heart your lungs your kidneys so you you're probably going to die uh, and there are three stages of the shock and if she has lost this much blood it's i think stage 3 uh, because quite the bp has gone very very low and she is uh, she is sort of anxious sort of confused as well so i think that this would be great two or three hemorrhagic shock what i also want to say is that here also in the ot table they have just laid her down nobody is tampon adding that particular bleeding wound which is present and uh, nobody is even preparing for any sort of procedure what would i have done if i was present in that case is first of all tampon at that wound put put pressure over it i would have asked many people to put the pressure usko ek hi stable jagah pe rakho then put in two large bore iv cannulas one on each arm jo dono veins hai usme dal do and then start iv fluids rapidly of course i know this is a present They might not have IV fluids, but they do have an OT table as well as the light. So I am assuming that they have IV fluids. So they should. And I would have also started it rapidly so that the volume of blood which she is losing, she might get uh, more. I would have also tried to arrange the blood bags if they have got a blood bank over there and start the particular start replenishing her blood. And when the patient has got enough BP and all of that, we could have taken we could have taken the decision to open the abdomen to see what is happening. Do not at all take out the thing which is going inside your abdomen. If you have someone who has killed you, please don't. निकालो मत तुम हॉस्पिटल में जाओ अच्छे से ओटी में चल जाओ फिर उस चाकू को निकालो द रीजन इज that uh, particular object be it a bullet be it a knife be it uh, something else entirely that particular bullet is stopping the blood from oozing out theek hai and once you take out that blood there is all hell will break loose there will be nothing to stop the blood from flowing so here the first thing that it was directly take out the bullet wo blood be spray hua it was totally unnecessary to do you could have left the bullet over there and thoda sa patient jab stable ho jata hai we could have done it uh, another thing is that once you open the abdomen you have to quickly localize that where is the bleeding vessel you have to clamp that and you have to prevent further bleeding injury i personally feel like bullet wounds are something if they are bought after a particular time we can definitely save the patient if the particular surgical approach is taken and of course at this point they are severely there is no doctor presence so of course nothing is to be expected but to you guys whoever is watching this video do key lessons le lo yahan se first of all don't take anything out which is going out and in, going inside your abdomen you are going to cause a lot of problems for yourself for the doctor and secondly if you are having some sort of bleeding try putting pressure over it that will stop the bleeding that will decrease the bleeding uh and that should save some time okay so this is the monitor it is showing complete asystole asystole matlab ki there is no sort of pulse which is present there is no electrical activity of the heart which is present and asystole is something which is going to happen eventually your heart is going to stop pumping blood so ye yahan pe hua hai and here is the biggest blunder of the movie which is coming up you see jawan sharukh khan do some something extremely extremely weird so our hero has uh, shocked the patient who was in asystole so i am going to take this moment to extremely clarify when do we actually use a defibrillator because हर मूवी में ऐसा होता है कुछ भी हुआ डिफिब्रिलेट कर दो आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन वॉट द डिफिब्रिलेटर डज टू यू देन आई एक्सप्लेन कि कब यूज करते हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द डिफिब्रिलेटर इज नॉट गोइंग टू री स्टार्ट योर हार्ट दिस इज द बिगेस्ट मिसकनसेप्शन विच मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल हैव इट विल नेवर एवर री स्टार्ट योर इफ द हार्ट एज स्टॉप इट विल नॉट री स्टार्ट इट सो वॉट डज द डिफिब्रिलेटर एक्चुअली डू इट एक्चुअली स्टन्स द हार्ट ओके इट स्टन्स द हार्ट इट जस्ट डिस्ट्रॉयज ऑल द इलेक्ट्रिकल करेंट्स विच आर गोइंग सो दैट इन द होप्स दैट योर हार्ट माइट स्टार्ट द नॉर्मल इलेक्ट्रिकल करेंट्स विच actually going there in the first place so of course if you can imagine the situation agar heart mein already koi current nahi hai to tumne usko stun karke depress bhi kar diya so wo restart nahi hone wala there are two types of rhythms that you have to understand there is the shockable rhythm and there is the non shockable rhythm so shockable rhythm means the electrical activity of the heart is present it is abnormal and that abnormal activity just two you have to remember there is ventricular tachycardia and there is ventricular fibrillation so we tach we fib ye jab do condition hoti hai tab kya hota hai heart mein jo ventricular होते हैं वेंट्रिकल्स आर गोइंग रैंडमली ओके दे आर नॉट एबल टू प्रॉपरली जनरेट द ब्लड आउट एंड दैट इज द केस व्हेन यू शॉक यू स्टन द हार्ट द हार्ट विल स्टॉप एंड देन नॉर्मल एसए नोड एवी नोड एंड बंडल ऑफ इस वाली एक्टिविटी शुरू होगी देन द एक्टिविटी ऑफ द हार्ट विल बी रिस्टोर्ड टू द नॉर्मल फंक्शन सो दैट इज द शॉकेबल रिदम नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेक दिस मोमेंट टू जेनरसली एक्सप्लेन टू यू व्हाट इज 
CPR. How do we do it? So for that, you have to remember this song called as Staying Alive. Ta 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 ta, staying alive, staying alive. So ये उसकी beat है. And in this beat, what you have to do, you have to compress the chest. You have to take one hand. You have to take the heel of this hand and place it where the heart would be. Take the other hand, interlock it like this, and then. push it from the shoulder joint you have to push it tumko aise aise elbow joint se nahi karna you have to give it from the shoulder and you have to push it for adults it's given like 2 to 3 inches you can push the chest and you have to do it around 100 per minute so with that song staying alive ta 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 stay in alive if you do that the patient's heart even though it has stopped you would be generating enough pressure in the heart ki blood jo hai wo flow hota rahega so you have to do the ambu bag ventilation which we first talked about or you have to give mouth to mouth breathing avoid mouth to mouth breathing use the ambu bag because of so many different indications i'm not going to go over here if you have an ambu bag usko muh mein lagao acche se position karo airway ko position karo and then starts one person will do the ambu bag he will give at the normal tidal volume jo rate hota hai and the other person will start the cpr i've given cpr so many times within 3 to 4 minutes you are completely covered in sweat you are extremely tired and you have to switch over to somebody else tum aise 300 400 bar jab kar le hote na tum thak jate ho so you have to switch over to somebody else so then you give the ambu and the other person will do the cpr do it for as long as you can because the blood is flowing the oxygenation is happening because of the ambu bag and the person might actually start you at the same time administer some anotropic drugs administer adrenaline administer certain drugs which will help the heart to start once again and you might revive the patient because i have seen i have revived with my seniors the patients who got to us with severe accident severe blood loss but we managed to make that patient wake up and maybe he transfer him to the ventilator transfer to something else and that patient actually improved so cpr is very important always remember staying alive jo gana hai that will help you stay alive the beat of it will help you stay alive so please remember first of all if the person has got no heartbeat if there is no pulse if the person is unconscious lying down and if you have secured the airway properly start the cpr immediately with two people scream out for help call your call the police department 100 dial kar do 108 dial kar do ambulance aa jayegi sab cheeze shuru karo but cpr dena mat roko second of all there is shockable rhythm non shockable rhythm if the person is in a systole never shock if you shock the you will be shocked for life theek hai because the patient will never wake up if it's vtac vfib give the shock stun the heart so that the electrical activity will start once again so yes that was the entire movie so those are all the medical scenes which i wanted to explain to you i really hope that i was able to get some values from over here to over there and if i did please make sure to share this video so that this valuable information which can save somebody's life can be seen by many people and also being implemented to actually help make this world a better place and to actually help save lives thank you so much my beautiful audience for watching this video i really love you all and please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you did enjoy it milte agle sunday at 10 am it's your boy anuj i'll catch you in the next one bye bye